Hello and welcome. My name is Tim Titchmarsh, Ironspeed MVP from .netarchitect.co.uk based in the UK. Today we're going to be talking about multi-table relationships in Ironspeed. So let's just refresh ourselves. Um, when building Ironspeed application, the underlying database is the key. So all your relationships, tables, views, etc. are used by Ironspeed in order to build the pages, the layouts, etc. Normally you have sort of a single table joined to other tables and in Ironspeed you tend to link to a single table to get the information. But what happens if you want to pull in information from multiple tables and display those within Ironspeed? Let's take an example where we've got a user and some roles and users in roles. Let's just refresh ourselves what that might look like as a relationship in SQL Server. If I bring up my version of SQL Server which I'm using. Of course it could be Access, Oracle, etc. Here's my relationship of a particular project I'm using. We have the user table, the role table and the user role table that makes a many-to-many -many relationship between the two. So I can have a user that is in many roles. Traditionally what you would do in Ironspeed is to create an info, a show table if you wanted to view information regarding the user. And that's quite simple and we're going to show you that in a second. We then want to extend it so that we can pull in or filter information based on the role that that user is in. So let's go back to Ironspeed and uh, view the application that I've created. So I have a show user table uh, page which is a very simple, if we just bring up the uh, table control, drill down, we've got some fields and I just want to see a name an email and is that user enabled. Quite simple, quite straightforward. The query to bring that back we can go to the data sources, edit data source and we can see that it's a simple select from the table. That's all there is to it. There's nothing more than that at this stage. And what I would expect to see when I look at that information on the screen is just a simple straightforward list, no filtering uh, on the information. So let's prove that that is the case. If we build and run the application and if I log in I should be able to log in and see my list of users. Okay so let's just log in. There is role-based security on this application and if I go to my users list as I say name, email and is enabled. That's all I can see on this list. Okay, but what if I wanted to show or filter, let's say we want to filter only those that are administrators in this particular view. How would I do that? Because that information isn't stored in the user table, it's stored in the role table that's joined by the user role table. So what I would need to do is put a bit of additional uh, filtering, uh, sorry, joining on the where clause uh, to bring that back. I could also add filtering onto that clause uh, to bring back only those that are in a particular uh, role. So let's say we only want to show in that list administrators. Let's go and look at that list in the database. Okay, so here is my user table. If we just do a quick scan of that, there's the information. Role table and of course the user role table which joins them together. What I need to be able to do is to join to the role table and filter by all those users that are in the role of admin. So I'm going to copy the ID into the clipboard because I'm going to need that in a second to make the, the filter. Back to Ironspeed then and then we'll be able to see what's going on. So let's close off the browser, back to our table and this particular table is the one I want to filter. So I need to go in and edit the data source as we said before, it's a very simple, straightforward select. I need to add a WHERE clause now to make this join. So what we need to do is two phases, two parts to this. We need to create the relationship between the user and the user role such that I can then filter on the role. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is make a simple join between the two tables. So I need to pick table on the left, which is going to be uh, my user, and I want to join that user role 
or at this case, sorry, at this stage it's going to be the user ID, and then we're going to join that to the user role user ID. So at the moment that just joins the user to the user role table, and you need to have obviously corresponding fields that are um, related to make that join. So that's the first part. Okay, at that at this stage um, there's no filtering. Okay, I need to now add the filter to be able to filter by the role. So I'm going to add another where clause. This time in the table drop down, you see it's added user role because I joined that, and then I'm going to say the role ID is equal to it's going to be equal to some value. Okay. And because I copied it in earlier, this GUID, this ID, is the primary key for the role ID of admin. Click OK. OK. So the full WHERE clause will be something like the user ID is equal to the role user role ID, and the user role role ID is equal to this long GUID. OK. That's essentially what we want. So this time, if I next and then finish and build and run if I log in again I should be able to this time go to the user table and uh, see only myself as the administrator because there is only one admin on the on the system and all the others the basic user roles will be filtered out so users and there it is just one item in that list so what we've done there is to make a join and then filter on that join. So let's just see what SQL gets created. If we bring up our version of SQL and bring in with it the profiler, okay, which is available in SQL Server. If we now uh, run the profiler, and I'm going to just move that out of the way slightly so we can get to the screen and refresh the screen. Go back to my profiler and then stop that. I should find that we have created. Okay, so here it is. We've got the SQL that gets generated by Iron Speed. We've paused the trace and we can see here is the SQL. Okay, now we could copy this. Let's do that actually. Copy that. Go back into our SQL server. Uh, and open up a query window, new query, paste that in there, um, and you can, okay, it's all on multiple lines, so I'm just going to make that look a bit more readable. And there's our where clause. So we've got a select from the user table. We've then got a join between the user role table and the user table on the user ID. And then we've got where the role ID, this is the GUID representation as a binary number effectively, um, or a binary sequence. Don't worry about the where clause, this is the row num over, this is just to restrict it to 10, 10 rows that come back. So. What we can do here is to create our joins and where clauses within Iron Speed, execute them, and just make sure that within the profiler we're getting the SQL that we expect. Okay. Now, if I run that, I should get. Let me just change that to the correct database, and I should get one row, one row back, which is the admin. Okay. There we go. So we can see that that um, actually works, because whilst I was preparing this I did make an error in the formula and ISP didn't throw out an error at that stage it just didn't return any rows so where do you go from there so by using the profiler you can see the actual SQL that gets generated and what I've actually done within the formula editor was to use a single quote rather than a double quote obviously in the SQL world you use single quotes but in uh, C Sharp and the uh, environment of Iron Speed, you would use a uh, double quote to surround the WHERE clause uh, row ID value. OK, so that just wraps it all up and brings it all together on how you create multi-table joins 
uh, pulling that information across multiple tables. Of course, if you get complex multi-table joins, you could revert to using a view within SQL Server and then just bringing that back as though it were a single table within IN Speed. So the choice is yours. You can do both. But for things like this where you just need a quick, simple join, Iron Speed is the best way to do it. Add as many where clauses as you want onto the end of that. That's not a problem. Or, of course, if you're into uh, writing C Sharp or VB, you can write your own where clauses and override the uh, where clause uh, code within your application. So hopefully that's uh, helped you understand a bit better multiple table joins within Iron Speed Designer. Thanks, and I look forward to talking to you soon.